Hi, another Mrs H psychology revision video, this time for paper two, as we approach paper two approaches. And um, I hope you've already seen the, the videos I've made comparing the different approaches. If not, have a look under um, my playlist on Mrs H psychology. But this one is a different sort of exam question. It's discuss the contribution of X to our understanding of behavior, let's say for 16 marks. So let's have a quick look at this. So they could ask you to discuss any of the named um, people, so P Pavlov, Skinner being, you know, two examples. So let's say we get a question, and this was a sample paper, um, discuss the contribution of Pavlov and Skinner to our understanding of human behaviour, but they could equally ask about one of those. So the same thing applies, let's use the key assumptions that we've got. Um, so if you haven't already had a look at it, there's a very full uh, video on the behaviourist approach under Mrs. A. Psychology, the behaviourist, and uh, I'll tell you, talk you through the different key assumptions, but we're going to use the same material pretty much, and all we're going to do is just tweak it to respond to this particular question. So it is really important that you do answer this question. The question is, discuss their contribution. So you are going to use this material in the same way, if you were asked specifically, let's say with Pavlov, you, you would talk about his contribution in terms of a classical conditioning and what it, it's shown us about human um, learning, the law of contiguity you could have, reflexive behaviours, learning through association, practical applications like um, uh, its use in systematic desensitisation, for example. So there's plenty of material you can use very specifically for Pavlov. Ditto for Skinner. Operant conditioning, the importance of reinforcement, practical applications that we have with learning, you know, for schools, for animals, etc., etc. Important and, and token economy, and the importance of consequences, etc. So those are very specific, but otherwise we're going to be using exactly the same material that we've had with other essay questions. So, for example, environmental determinism, tabula rasa, Darwinism, maybe um, stimulus response and uh, you know our, their, their approach that we should be really objective etc etc so we're just going to manipulate this material we're going to use that so if I show you um, what it had in the mark scheme for this particular question you'll see you can just pause and have a look at that and that's basically using exactly as I've just said uh, the key assumptions okay and then we would go on to discuss those exactly as we've done already Okay, with previous essay questions. So we'd be using the strengths and weaknesses of the approach. Okay, and there's some discussion points listed here. But again, if you need a little bit more explanation, have a look at my full videos on that. So we go on very quickly. There's the, again, you can pause to have a look at the mark scheme there. Next one might be something like discuss Wundt's role. Okay, this happened to be from summer last, the AS paper last summer, but it's um, just for three marks, but equally we have enough material to develop that further. So again, pause, check that you understand Bunt's role in um, his contributions, what he contributed to, you know, setting up the new lab, the first lab, training psychologists, um, changing psychology from philosophy, for example. Um, and trying to get it, uh, the study of psychology to be much more objective. So plenty of material there, and then going on to evaluate that, his influence, you know, how comparing him really with other approaches, so basically behaviours and cognitive, taking it further, um, but the problems with subjectivity, despite his best intentions and his best attempts, um, humanists also taking it even further and rejecting the scientific approach. So have a look at that. Moving on, so let's say we get a uh, question about the contribution of Rogers and Maslow. So we have again key assumptions. Uh, they would be talking about free will, i.e., personal agency, self actualization, the fact that we should be studied as a unique individual, phenomenology, holistic approach, and rejection of science. So we would talk through the key assumptions. But again, if you need specifics on either of them, Maslow's hierarchy and understanding motivation. So his work um, being influential in occupational psychology, business models of staff motivation and, and talking through his hierarchy. If it was Rogers that they were asking you about specifically, then obviously we've got his PCT, CCT therapy, uh, the idea of conditions of worth, the concept of self. And then once again, we would just be evaluating how good are these contributions. So we're using the same material, you're outlining the key assumptions, specifics where you need them um, and even if you're not specifically asked then definitely um, zoom in on these two very specific areas 
um, different people and obviously you need to stress clearly which one you're speaking about or you're writing about um, and then go on to evaluate those key assumptions you know how good were those contributions what are the problems with their contributions and again that's just using the same evaluative points that we've run through with the other videos okay if you want to this specific video humanism exam questions video for evaluation here we've got some um, key evaluative points that you could watch. Um, you just to zoom in onto that video um, if, if you can't read this, which I, I suspect you won't be able to because it's a bit small. Okay, and finally then, a contribution of Freud or a psychoanalytic approach to our understanding of human behaviour. So this was a past question. I've made a specific exam um, video on that, which is here, but just so you've got a little bit of information here. So what did Freud contribute? So we've got his understanding of contributions to our understanding of our unconscious mind, childhood experiences, influencing others. We're outlining a little bit of that. You know, how did he contribute to that? And this particular question was wanting you to link it to particular topics. So it's a little bit more advanced question, really. But then going on to evaluate it. And again, the video that I've got on psychoanalytic We'll talk you through those evaluative points, but you could uh, just pause and have a look at that as a, as a bit of a, um, a recap. Um, and there was a tiny little bit there on the mark scheme for that. So important really for you to have already to be aware of the, um, the basic assumptions and the evaluation of each approach, but then just be able to manipulate that same information to say this is what they contributed X, Y, Z, and this was what was great about it, but this was not so great. So it's really that three part essay. Once again, here's the key assumptions. In other words, the key assumptions here are what did they contribute? What was great about any of that? But what was not so good? Okay, hopefully that's helped.